When the reno starts, right when you film. Hey everyone, it's your favorite blind chick back on your screen with another one. I wanted to make this video to make light of some of the things that frustrate me about Life Legally Blind. So here goes. These are the top seven most annoying things about losing vision. If you agree to any of these, let a girl know by hitting the like and comment down below and let's get into it. Starting off at number seven, these are going to get more annoying as we go. I would say missing the light. It's annoying, but it's not the most annoying thing. There's been times where I've had to stand by two to three cycles before I was able to cross. Because even though we have a countdown system here in Toronto, I can't see that far. Unless the pole is far enough back that when I look back, I can see that. I'm not taking a chance. Nope, not today. So usually I have to wait until the light starts up again and then stops to cross or in case like someone like a mom with the stroller that's got a lot to lose crossing people that are texting while crossing i'm like give me your eyesight because you're taking risk in life that if i had perfect vision i wouldn't waste time texting i would pay attention to crossing but hey that's me coming in at number six would be having to take my phone everywhere now don't get me wrong i know we're in the era where everybody takes their phone everywhere it's a little different for me if i leave home without my phone i'm literally blind like i'm already legally blind but this is next level blind i need this because when i triple tap and i showed you this in my what's in my iphone if it wants to work rude whether i'm going to get groceries or going to look at something i need to be able to see it with this <sighs> Sometimes I just don't want to deal with it. I just want to pick up something and know I know what I'm picking up if you know what I mean. Number five is similar but different and that is shoe shopping. Rather, shopping while blind should be a crime. It's a whole fiasco between not seeing the tags, not knowing what you're picking up, not knowing what it costs before you fall in love with it. But specifically, shoe shopping is a great example because I can't see my feet. Whenever I go in the store, the associate's telling me, oh, those look so good on you. Sandal season is such a trip. I try ordering my sandals. Online shopping is way better for me, but sometimes the sizes are in between and I can't tell if my gargoyle feet are creeping over the ledge or nah. So I usually have to send a picture to my cousin, zoom in and wait for her response. And she's like, why are you sending me your feet? I'm like, girl, I need your help. So that, 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 that's annoying. At least when it comes to the winter time, it's easier because if the boots hurt, then you know they're tight. But when it comes to sandals and heels, <sighs> the fourth most annoying thing about losing vision is not recognizing people's faces. How many times have I gone out to meet someone, whether it's at a bar, a patio, even at a street corner, a meeting place, even in someone's house, and I click the wrong elevator button, I walk past the person, I go up to the wrong table, I'm through being embarrassed. I'm just annoyed. It comes to the point where I have to tell my friends, hey, remember to wave when I get closer to the table or call out my name when you see me approaching the sidewalk because I will literally walk past someone. Unless they are this close to me, I will not know. And even sometimes I will slowly walk past someone just to make sure because there's been times I've gone into somebody, oh my God, hey, Art, and they're like, I don't, I don't know her. Number three is a new one, but it's also old since a couple years ago, as in 11 years ago, I got my first pair of glasses and a week ago I got my second. Now this prescription is a little stronger. If you watched the last weekly vlog, you saw kaleidoscope dreams up in here. There's prisms in this to help reflect the light so that whatever's left of my eye that hasn't died can still be used. I was hoping, fingers crossed, that this would help me make less mistakes at work, see my screen when I'm editing, be able to make eye contact with people, but I'm realizing it don't do any of the above, which sucks, because these were a pretty penny. Besides blue light blocking and a little magnification, they're not doing much for me, and it's very discouraging to try to find resources, tech, and tools to help that just don't do enough. Number two is missing buses. Now, if you've been subscribed for a while, you probably saw this one coming, but guess what? When it comes to buses, I don't see them coming. I can't tell you how many times I've waited in the wrong line at the bus terminal or gotten on the wrong bus and only realized halfway when it starts to loop or divert on a different path. Where I live, the trains, our transit is trash. So trains are simple, north, south, east, west, a little bit this way, a little that way. But when it comes to buses and streetcars, those things are turning, diverting, short this, long that, and it's just is a mess. 
I used to be able to see when it said 54A or 54C, and now I can't see any of that, so I have to ask or listen for the audio announcement, and sometimes it isn't on. If you watch my vlogs or you're on my Instagram, you'll see all the time that I'm getting on the wrong bus when I go to Never Never Land to get groceries because they're cheaper far away, or if I'm going to meet someone, I'm in a rush. That makes me sometimes an hour to two hours late. It sucks. The last and most annoying thing you cannot imagine how annoying it is to want to just scroll the gram like you did a couple years ago and have to zoom in all the way up to read a caption like it, th there's never a time and place where a caption is worth it so i just don't someone sends me a dm it literally takes half an hour to read so please if you gotta say something leave it for me in the comment section below but i'm letting you know that it is a part-time job looking at anything on my phone, responding to emails at work. I got to go to Narnia and back, scrolling one part of the screen to the next. I'm doing all types of sorcery on there in order to get my job done. Grateful that I live in a time where I can even zoom into anything because, hey, back in the days of the old school Macintosh or IBM computers, they didn't have that, but it still sucks. I wish there was something in between that could really help me. And then just because you know I always got to add a bonus, this could be, you know, the eighth thing or 1A, depending on how you look at it, but typos on typos. This is probably more annoying to my friends than it is to me because, hey, when I make typos, half the time I don't see until they're like, what did you mean? What did you say? But between typos and voice to text playing games with me, I literally can't. It's the hieroglyphics for me. Sometimes I read back my text messages and I'm just like, wow, Jeff, Efi, Avzal, you guys have gotten so good at deciphering what I've said because I had no idea what I was saying back then, but you responded with the swiftness. It is actually, it's appalling. If you've seen some of my text messages, you're just like, what language is this? <laughs> with voice to text, sometimes if I'll make a note or I'm trying to send a long text, I'll say next line so it skips and it starts doing dictation on the next line, but it'll say next line in the middle of it or parentheses or comma or bracket instead of putting those things. And it's just like, why, why you gotta be difficult? Don't even get me started with putting in passwords into sites or when they ask you, click all the cars in those boxes. No, we're not going down that road. I gave you seven plus one, that's more than enough for today. I'm sure you got some to add to the list, so leave it for your girl down below. If you haven't already, subscribe and share. Until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, Stay sane. Love and later.